Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Nisha and I love fragrances. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you guys for clicking on that thumbnail. And I hope you stay to the end and subscribe. And if you're my old subscribers, thank you so much for returning. Today, I'm just going to do a quick and simple review on this new fragrance that was released from the Sense of Wood. Now, you guys, you know how much I love that house. And this one is called Santal Ushin. I'm hoping, let me make sure it's focusing here. Can you see it? Santal, how do you pronounce this? I want to say Umishu. Santal Umishu. So let me read you the notes of this fragrance. This fragrance has addictive notes of almond and mazapan, harmonized with creamy, buttery warmth of sandalwood oil, New Caledonia. Santal Umishu <laughs> is a sensual elixir stimulating all the senses, a unique modern wonder experience. Now, this is a Edo Toilette version. Guys, this to me, let me give you what I feel about this fragrance. Now, let me spray this. Hold on. Because you have to spray this on skin really to get the... Mm. Okay. This fragrance, right off the nozzle, you can tell it's sandalwood. You get that sandalwood. But there is a very bright, sharp green note. And when I was doing more research, I think this has um, the note of... Where is it? So this has notes of mandarin, ginger oil. Um, it has curry seed, umishu, accord. It has violet, divana oil, ambrette, vanilla, and sandalwood. Sandalwood oil, New Caledonia. I don't know what does that mean, really, but you get that sandalwood vibe. But this sandalwood and this fragrance, to me, it's not a sweet, creamy sandalwood. It's a more dry sandalwood, in my opinion. It's more dry. It's not very sweet. But when you spray this fragrance, in initial spray, to me... There's a very sharp, bright, green, kind of abrasive smelling note. And I think that's the Divana because that's the, the, the vibe that Divana gives out. I don't like Divana in fragrances. It's very green and herbally and sharp. So that punches you in the face at the opening of this fragrance. Okay, so the sandalwood is there, but and you get the brightness of the, um, you get the orange and the ginger and all that. But front and center is that divana i don't like divana so that stays a good like half an hour or so but then it dies down so when it dies down there's a slight greenness to the through this fragrance but it's very woody and it's a little bit powdery but the divana dies down a lot it's there but i could tolerate it then at the beginning i don't like the sharpness of that green that green element and I, as i said i think it's the divana so this in the dry down is when I actually appreciate this fragrance. It's very, you definitely pick up the sandalwood. It's a sandalwood forward fragrance. You get the the booziness of it. I guess that's Ush, Umishu Accord. It's a Japanese, um, what is Umishu? Let me tell you exactly what Umishu is. So yeah, the only thing I got on Umishu is, is a Japanese beverage. I think it's a Japanese liquor. So yeah, that's what it is. So you get that vibe of it. But then it dries down to a beautiful, beautiful sand sandalwood fragrance. And you get the slight divana. It's the greenness is slightly there. You get a kind of boozy vibe, but it's very woody. And... Mm. Oh my God, yeah. It's woody. It is a, a nice fragrance. It's beautiful for the fall weather. Is it my favorite from the line? No. My favorite is Plum and Co Cognac. And Oud and Acacia. I absolutely love those and some others. This I really like as well. It's a nice new release from the house. And it would work perfect for the fall weather. So if you like the note of sandalwood. And you know what Umishu smells like. Maybe you should try this. So they do have these fragrances in the 10 ml. So you can try them before you buy it. Before you commit to a big size. So yeah. these are my. This is my thoughts on this fragrance. So let me know if you've tried it. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until the next video, be safe, be kind, and smell fabulous. Bye now.